lava fountain as Hawaii's Kano continues to erupt. Large lava fountains are expected during the latest eruption of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano. Kilauea, one of the world's most active volcanoes, has erupted several times in more than three months since erupting on December 23rd. During periods of eruption, lava fountains reach heights of 1,000 feet, 305 meters, drawing visitors to admire the fiery glow at Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Periods of eruption, punctuated by lulls in activity, last anywhere from a few hours to more than a week. Lava remains within the volcano's summit caldera and within the park, and no residential areas are threatened. The 17th episode began Monday night, producing low-level splash fountains, 15 to 30 feet, 4.5 to 9 meters high, According to an update from the U.S. Geological Survey's Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, high-level splash fountains are likely to follow the current low-level lava flows and lava fountains, the observatory said. It said current hazards include emissions of volcanic gases and wind-blown volcanic glass, Pele's hair, and tephra, that have impacted the national park and surrounding communities. The current eruption is characterized by episodic water fountains not seen in any other eruption since 2020. More than 1,200 viewers watched the USGS's live stream of lava on Tuesday morning, which showed jets of bright red molten rock. Kilo located on the eastern side of the Big Island about 200 miles, 320 kilometers, southeast of Honolulu, is one of the world's most active volcanoes and Hawaii's busiest. Visitors come from all over the world to admire its eruptive spectacle. The volcano's last eruption began on December 23rd and has been intermittent since then. The largest of the state's six active volcanoes is Mauna Loa, which is also on the Big Island and erupted in 2022. Before the dramatic lava flow began, HVO said periodic spattering began inside the northern vent and increased in intensity before lava began to erupt. Live video from the United States Geological Survey USGS showed the eruption appeared to have stopped Wednesday morning. HVO said Kilauea's current eruption is in the Halima-Uma crater within Kaluapele, the summit caldera. Since then there have been 18 eruptive episodes punctuated by lulls in activity. All of the eruptive activity has remained within the national park. Dangers during Tuesday's eruption included volcanic gas emissions, as well as wind-blown volcanic glass, known as Pele's hair, and tephra. Tephra is rock fragments and other debris that are ejected from a volcano during an eruption. From the Kaldum in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, you can see the massive eruption of Kilaue, one of the park's two volcanoes. Glowing red lava shot high into the air before falling back to the ground. Large clouds of white smoke rose, almost like a forest fire. The Big Island currently sits atop a lava-producing hotspot on Earth, but the view today was impressive, a park ranger said, telling all the tourists how lucky we are to be here. One of the world's most active volcanoes has erupted again. Kilauea, on Hawaii's Big Island, began spewing fresh lava at about 2 a.m. local time, 12 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reported. Officials said there was no immediate danger to residents because the volcano's current activity was confined to a limited area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. They warned the most immediate threat was volcanic ash that could reach residential areas downwind.